Hey guys, welcome to our channel Chill on You Too. Law enforcement officers deserve access to the best tech available to help them fight crime. And they're getting it. Technology is transforming police work in 2050, introducing new tools to fight crime and new categories to crime fighting. As technology continues to reshape nearly every sector of society, law enforcement leaders now have an arsenal of high-tech systems and tools that enhance public safety, catch criminals, and save lives. Today we'll show you the five top-of-the-line technologies and police gadgets that police officers will be using in the coming years. Let's get started. We bet you guys will be shocked to see the next-to-last gadget on our list. Number 5. Grappler Police Bumper High-speed car chases can be dangerous, but they might finally come to an end even quicker thanks to a new vehicle called the Grappler Police Bumper. They call it the Grappler, and it attaches itself to the bumper of the car. The Grappler mounts to the front of the police pursuit car. It is deployed by the push of a button and ends a car chase right on its tracks, safely and securely. It shoots out a Y-shaped heavy-duty net that goes under the rear tire of a fleeing vehicle. When you're coming up behind the bad guy, the grappler deploys with the press of a button, then more or less it scoops one of the fleeing car's rear wheels. A large yellow net is hung between two extending posts, and it quickly gets grabbed by the tire and hauled up and over where it wraps itself around the axle, bringing the wheel to an abrupt stop. It often grabs with such force that it rips the tire right off the rim. With front wheel drive cars, once the net grabs the rear wheel, the police driver can maintain some distance between him and the suspect's vehicle and then drag it to a halt using a tether line and by applying his own brakes. This can effectively stop the fleeing car in a straight line, making it possible to use in heavy traffic safely. Go Go Gadget Grappler Number 4. Automatic License Plate Recognition ALPR The same technology that enables toll collectors to automatically scan and collect the registration numbers and letters on your license plate to charge you a fee is now being used by police for a variety of law enforcement purposes. From identifying stolen cars to catching up with people who have active warrants or monitoring Amber Alerts. For police, this technology is helpful to automate and speed up the process of taking down license plates and checking them against law enforcement databases. ALPR cameras can be used in police cruisers, and in many cities, such cameras are also mounted at streetlights, intersections, and elsewhere. The reality that multiple cameras could be capturing images of the same license plate potentially gives police the ability to track a vehicle's movement over time, revealing details about an operator's whereabouts which could help catch criminals. Many states and law enforcement agencies have put in place limitations on how this valuable technology is deployed. Well, that's a good idea. Thanks, Uncle Sam. Number 3. Facial Recognition Software one of the more controversial emerging police technologies involves the use of facial recognition software. A hypothetical example offered in an NBC News report illustrates the pros and cons. While it might be the future of policing, medicine, and banking, FTR exhibits racial bias and security vulnerabilities. Some even claim it can be used to determine sexual orientation. A camera, one of a thousand, scans the streets, instantly analyzing the faces of everyone it sees. Then an alert. The algorithms find a match with someone in the crowd. Advanced forms of facial recognition offer, quote, dazzling potential for crime prevention. For example, tracking wanted criminals, missing people, and suspected terrorists. Number 2. Nimble Robot by Turing Apparently, the robot's AI can detect humans and recognize when suspicious events are playing out, like people fighting, for example. If it feels that something isn't quite right, it starts up its lights and audio warnings and sends an alert to security staff along with a snippet of video. If the staff feels it necessary, they can hop onto the Nimbo and be carried along at an up to 11 miles per hour in pursuit of the suspect. Nimbo can be programmed to follow particular routes or choose self-optimized paths all on its own around company campuses, warehouses, and parking lots. Nimbo is manufactured by California-based company Turing. Number 1 Shot Spotter Shots fired is not an uncommon dispatch from witnesses or officers on patrol, but pinpointing the exact location of the gunfire takes up precious time when every moment counts. Today, more and more cities are implementing Shot Spotter technology. Shot Spotter technology uses sensors to detect gunfire and tracks data to instantly relay it to police, enabling them to arrive on the scene more quickly than ever before. 
Named for the leading provider of this technology, California-based ShotSpotter, the service can cost $40,000 to $60,000 per square mile per year for cities to cover high crime areas. The company claims it can detect more than 90% of gunfire incidents with a precise location in less than 60 seconds to significantly improve response times. A dramatic example of shot spotter in action took place in 2017 in Fresno, California, where police used it to apprehend a criminal on a killing spree. The technology enabled police to trace the killer's movement and apprehend him within 4 minutes and 30 seconds. Way to go, Blue! So, that's the end of this video. What will be the new police gadgets in 2050? We hope you really enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. But before you go, subscribe, like, and share the video. And don't forget, hit that bell icon to check out more interesting videos made just for you.